Okay, our next speaker is um, Yoko Iri. She's going to talk about personalized treatment in triple negative breast cancer. Thanks, William. Um, thank you for the invitation and the opportunity to talk about some of our work and research interests with respect to breast cancer and how we're trying to envision going forward with our research program to benefit patients even more. So as a solid tumor biologist and solid tumor oncologist, we're always je jealous uh, about people like Samir who can afford to ask patients for multiple blood draws to get tissue samples. But I hope to show you in some of our, our recent work that we're approaching um, that paradigm in, in solid tumors and specifically in breast cancer. So as Jose mentioned, uh, triple negative breast cancer, which is my research program's particular interest, um, is, poses several clinical challenges. Um, it represents only about 15% of all breast cancers that are diagnosed in the United States, but the denominator for breast cancer cases is quite large. To over 200,000 cases are diagnosed every year. So 15% of 200,000 is a significant number. Again, um, as previously mentioned by some of the speakers, uh, chemotherapy is the mainstay of medical treatment, and medical oncologists like myself are uh, constantly making decisions about whether chemotherapy and which chemotherapies to administer. And contrary to some lay beliefs, uh, chemotherapy is quite effective for many of our patients, and many of our patients do well long term. However, the response is not uniform, and therefore, we're concerned about those patients who don't have an optimal response to chemotherapy, because we know that suboptimal responses translate to poor outcomes long term. Again, there are very few uh, targeted therapies approved for triple negative breast cancer. Recently, PARP inhibitors have been approved for the treatment of metastatic uh, BRCA-related triple negative breast cancer, but that is the only approved targeted therapy. And so our group and many others here at Sinai um, have been interested in understanding what drives treatment resistance that can translate to poor outcomes. Can we develop better therapeutic targets and how using novel chemical uh, inhibitors and approaches such as what Jing uh, will talk about and Jan Jing will talk about, I'm sorry. But we also need not only a better understanding of mechanisms of therapeutic resistance, we also need models to help validate some of our novel uh, therapeutic targets and strategies. So I'd like to talk about um, one of the model systems that we've been developing in our laboratory over the past four years. These are avatars, um, mouse avatars, unlike Ross's fly avatars. They're also abbreviated patient-derived xenografts, or PDX. Again, these mice uh, represent um, an individual patient's tumor. A piece of a patient's tumor is biopsied and implanted directly into a cohort of mice. And those mice, or those avatars, are allowed to grow the tumor in, as a live tumor. So while we hope to abolish cancer in our patients, we hope that this cancer grows in, in the mouse so that we can understand its growth properties, the genetics, and assess its treatment res response to different treatments and understand resistance in real time. So again, this is not a new uh, model, but it's been out in the field, um, by, and, and there's much interest in using uh, mouse avatars and PDX models. However, there has not been a lot of validation beyond the basic baseline characterizations, both uh, immunohist immunohistochemically and genomically. So what we hope to do here is to push the limit um, with some of these models to see whether they can model in re real time treatment resistance. So again, this is a description pictorially of what, how we develop our models. Again, from a patient, male or female, with triple negative breast cancer, we um, implant them directly into um, immunodeficient, oops, sorry. Am I going the wrong way? Into immunodeficient mice. We also have been developing cell lines uh, culture systems as well as uh, primary organoids from some of these PDX tumors. 
we do comparative genomic analysis on both the original patient tumor as well as the PDX tumor that grows in the mouse. We hope to be able to generate enough of a data set to understand tumor drivers and um, potentially identify novel therapeutics that can be directly tested in the context of cell lines and then the avatars and hopefully brought back to the patient in the context of a clinical trial. So this represents an IRB-approved clinical study that has now been open here at Mount Sinai for the past four years at the Dubin Center. And uh, these, uh, this study enrolls patients with stage 1 to 4 triple negative breast cancer, and it util utilizes a clinical um, paradigm that has become more and more common in the treatment of triple negative breast cancer, which means we treat patients up front with chemotherapy before uh, the patient goes to surgery, so we can get an idea of how responsive a patient's cancer is to chemotherapy. We generate a PDX mouse avatar mouse from the research-only biopsy material. We again um, attempt, we will, if the engraftment is successful, we treat the mouse PDX uh, models with the same chemotherapy agents that the patient was treated with. And then um, collect not only information about clinical response, but also because we, we um, do extensive pre- and post-genomic analysis, both in an RNA and a protein level, we hope to do enough comparative analysis to understand whether these PDX models are, are valuable as uh, models of modeling treatment resistance in real time. So I just have one more slide. Um, so, so far, I can give you an update of what we've done so far. We've enrolled 66 patients on this study across the Mount Sinai Cancer System Network, um, thanks to the efforts of all of the clinicians and radiologists and surgeons. And we have had about 20 PDX models um, successfully engraft. We've done uh, comparative immunohistochemical analysis on about a dozen, and they really do mirror the original patient tumors. Um, the genomics is also being uh, performed. RNA-seq analysis is the first line that we've taken, and so far there's been a good alignment between the original patient cancer and the avatar model. What we hope to do is understand whether the post-treatment um, genomics uh, analysis is also comparable between the model and the patient, such that it gives us confidence that these models can be used to um, really track treatment resistance in real time. So I want to acknowledge not only the people in my own lab, but this represents an immense collaborative effort across different disciplines, especially pathology, uh, Michael Donovan, and members of the breast pathology group, as well as genetics and genomics, Yunji uh, Jun and Bin Zhang, as well as all of our patients who um, have been gracious enough to, to give consent to some of these research-only biopsies that have no direct clinical benefit to them at this time. Thanks. Thank you. Okay.